What is up, Lit Up Fam? It's your girl, Pearl. I'm still calling us Lit Up Fam within the BioRave movement because we're getting lit for life. That's one of my main mantras. Hello, is it Amy? Hi. One of the mantras in this movement is we get lit for life. And so we're still Lit Up Fam. But we're also bio ravers. That is the new identity of what we're doing here. I'm just so excited to share more about the movement, the mission, the vision, why I created this, and just why I'm so passionate about this whole thing. Um, so those of you that have been chatting to me in the DMs and giving me feedback and just being so incredible. Hi, L. Thank you all so much for your love, for your support, for your kind words. And I've already had people join the membership or join the community, join the free community. So if you want to join us, please do. And I really see this being massive. Now, why is this so important and why it's bio rave? You know, I've always been thinking of like, how do I stand out? How do I really combine my passions? Because I love partying. I love going out. I love dancing. But partying doesn't mean getting drunk or getting really high on drugs. Right. And not saying it's a bad thing all the time, but I am saying you don't need those things to have a really good time. And I was like, yeah, man, like I just want to I want to party. I just want to go out, you know, and I also really prioritize my health and well-being, my mental, my mental health, especially because being someone who's struggled with anxiety, low mood, you know, struggling with a lot of things, my mindset, my confidence, just so many things that I've overcame in the past few years and that we still work on. Obviously, we're human. I really want to combine my two passions for dancing, for partying, for going out and having a great time, but for also for being healthy and like optimizing your energy levels. Because one of the biggest questions and things that I get from people all around me, they're like, how do you have so much energy, Pearl? When I go out, people are like, how do you do that? How do you go out sober? How do you dance all night? How do you do this? And I'm like, I just have healthy habits. I just, you know, have prioritized my well-being and for the longest time, I never called myself a biohacker. I never said I was a biohacker. But when I look at all the things I do every single day in my life for the past three years, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a biohacker. <laughs> but I'm just like a different style of biohacking. I'm going to talk about that. But And I was like, well, if people need more energy and also still want to like party and have fun and be healthy, because dancing and going out and connecting with people literally is such a powerful, important aspect of being a thriving human being. Right? I'm reading a book right now called Outlive. And in the book, it talks about how much, how important connection and community and feeling like you belong and feeling like you're a part of something bigger, having a purpose, having a mission, how important that is. And so for me, when I think of going out and partying, it's not just, oh, I'm just going out to look really hot and just shake my booty and get drunk and wasted and forget my night. It's actually, I'm going out to connect with others, to dance, to express, to tap into my inner child, to work on my confidence, to push, push myself out of the comfort zone. Like for me, going out and partying is actually a way for me to grow as a human being, for me to be more self-expressed, for me to be more of myself. And then I bring that back into my life. That's how I view it, right? Not everyone does, but... I was like, why can't we party in a way that really improves our well-being? Why can't we also build healthy habits that allow us to feel high off life, like I do, so we can feel better every day, rely less on coffee, rely less on substances and things that help us feel a certain way. So tap, a, tap, send some love. Yes, love us. Thank you, Elle. So happy you're here. So the movement, the movement, the biorave movement. Being a biorave means that a big part of my mission is being a conscious consumer. And I'm really going to be pushing this a lot in my coaching and my services and everything. Helping people be a conscious consumer. Not just of what they eat. Not just of drugs. Not just of... But it's of everything. It's of social media. It's of people's opinions. It's of your own thoughts. It's of choosing what you want to create in your life, what you want in your life, knowing that everything around us, everything we consume, everything we eat, everything we see, everything we hear through all the senses, that affects us, affects our biology. It affects our physiology at the cellular level. So it's like, how can we build these habits and build a life and create an environment around us that helps us be optimized, that helps us perform better, feel better, be more focused, be more energized. 
that helps us release more endorphins, neurotransmitters in the brain that, to promote feelings of positivity, of feeling good, right? Because really, ultimately, as human beings, we all are chasing a feeling. We, we just want to... The reason we do things is because we want to feel a certain way, right? You drink coffee because you want to feel tired. You, you know, post on social media because you want to feel like you're belonging and you're part of it. You know, like you don't want to miss out. Like you want to be a part of the com- community. You want to feel like you are accepted. Like, you know what I mean? The feeling. So a big part of what I'm creating is how do we get to feel a certain way, but using our own inner power, using our own mind and using what our body already has because our body is absolutely incredible and we are so capable of creating everything we need to from transforming your sleep to having more energy to the mindset to you know all the things we don't need anything outside of us other than like food and water and like you know like the main core human needs but i mean like not relying on social media to feel like you're enough or not relying on coffee to feel energized not relying on drugs to have a good time when you go i'm not relying on drinking to be able to dance speaking of dance big part of my movement is around dancing let me know drop an emoji in the chat if you like dancing if you want to dance more if dance has really like impacted your life or maybe you someone that used to dance but stopped dancing dance is literally my whole entire life and being i dance all day every day all the time I see someone dropped it. Yes. And I really believe to my core, dancing is going to change the world. Like if more, more people danced, the world would absolutely transform. Not only because it's fun, dancing is one of the most powerful ways to work on your emotions, to express and to release trapped emotions and to work on your confidence and to be more, be more of yourself. Dancing is ingrained in our bodies. It's part of our being as human beings, right? Dancing lettuce. Speaking of dance, dancing lettuce. Hey, girl. Uh, So it's like, how can we dance more? How can we be more confident in our bodies? How can we build that feeling of just, you know, being that person that likes to dance and moves and is able to dance in any setting without any alcohol or substances? Because everyone can dance. And you don't have to be a good dancer to dance. It's such a Western culture thing. Like you have to be a good dancer to dance. You don't have to. What what is good? What is bad? Like that is. You just dance. You know what I mean? It's like you have to be a good breather to breathe. What's that even mean? You just breathe. Thank you so much, beautiful. You have to be a good walker to walk. You just walk. Like, that's my mindset around dancing. Like, you just dance. There's no good or bad. And I taught some workshops this summer at festivals. And that was, like, one of my main points. Like, you just dance because you are human and because you want to and because you can. You don't have to be good. All right? This idea of being good needs to get thrown out the window. You just get to be. You just get to be human. So dancing is a big part of my movement because I'm going to get the world to dance every single day. That's the vibe. That's the goal. (laughs) And um, it's just so, so transformative, right? And also a big part of what I want to create is an environment, a community that actually goes out to a space to dance, like a festival or a rave or a show. And people actually dance. I'm not sure. Have you ever, have you gone out like late recently? I'm not sure if y'all go out much. I go out all the time because I love dancing. And um, people don't actually dance though. Like they say, let's go out dancing. And they do this. Which is like fine. Like it's, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But I am saying that's not fully expressing how you want to move. Right? And like, oh, like I can't dance. And like you can And so a big part of creating people that actually love to dance together in a setting and we move and we grew and we connect and we dance and we flow and we actually move our bodies because it's so much more fun when you're dancing as a collective. Like when I go out dancing and no one else really dancing, like I don't care anymore, but I used to be like, man, why is no one dancing? Like more people need to dance, you know, but that's a whole mindset shift, like getting over your social anxiety getting over, you know, building your confidence as someone being able to move your body in public, right? A lot of people are scared and 
ashamed or embarrassed to dance in public. And that's one thing I want to really build on too. Because in the future, when I have these massive events and dance parties and open a sober club in the future, a bio rave club, hi Sabrina, we're all going to need to be able to dance together. So we're going to be dancing together, okay? And so the end goal for me with this movement, there's not really end because I see this going forever and ever, but it's to create like in-person event spaces and clubs and biohacking community centers for all of us to not only improve our well-being, but to also dance together and to be in a place where we don't have to stay up till 3 a.m. to go out and have a good time, where you get to go to bed early and still go out and dance and have a great time. Oh my God, yay! I love that. Yes, more dance. One of the one of the mottos in the movement is eat more plants and do more dance. Like I say, I say that to myself every single day. Eat more plants and do more dance. Because like when you eat more plants, you are improving your nourishment, you're elevating your vibration, your gut health. Plants are amazing. And you do more dance because it's fun. You release endorphins and it feels good to your body. And it's just... And doing that every single day will change your life. That's one of the mottos in the movement, the Bio Rave community. My next piece that I'm creating here is actually how we party. So it's not just about, for me, creating a space for us to dance. Like, that's great. It's actually about how we interact, how we party with each other. And I'm creating, this is like, this is all brand new. So like, fam, I am... We're work. We're building this. We're building this together, right? But my idea is that because I've been in the party scene a lot, and what I see is that people, you know, they're partying, they're doing a thing, and they're like, oh, like I'm losing energy or whatever because they don't have the biohacking habits that are gonna help them feel energized, which is what what we're gonna do as well in the community. But oh, like oh, I'm getting tired or whatever, and they'll do like a bump of K or they'll drink or they'll do some drugs or they'll drink more alcohol, so they can. St- they can keep up, right? So they can do all things and still feel energized. And so I'm like, well, what if instead of, you know, doing these substances when we're partying, why don't we just find natural ways of biohacking to release these certain feelings and these neurotransmitters and these endorphins within us? So again, this is brand new, but it's going to be something along the lines of like bio raving and like, a part way we're partying together but we're also doing things together like breath work like certain moves like hugging each other to release oxytocin like you know something else to release serotonin and dopamine because ultimately we just do drugs to release these things serotonin dopamine oxytocin nor norepinephrine adrenaline like all these things so we can also release these things in other ways through Physical actions, through thoughts, through music, through movement, through breathing, through other biohacks that I'm going to figure out and do research about. So imagine you're partying, you're out there dancing, and we're like, okay, five minutes of breath work, and we're all doing breath work together. And then we're like, okay, go hug someone, and we're all hugging someone. And it's like, okay, next, go do something. And like we're energized, and we get high off of the people, off of the vibe. Like, can you just take a second and, like, visualize that for me? Because that is literally the dream. Like, I think about that and I get so fucking hyped because that's just beautiful. And we get to be high off each other and just, like, create this amazing vibe. We get to dance and just connect. Like, really connect. Another piece of the movement is connecting. Because so much of the party scene is disconnecting, is disassociating, is getting lost, is losing yourself in the music in the drugs, in the drinks, in the whatever. And it's not actually connecting deeper to who you are and what you want and connecting to the people around you. And human connection is such a big piece of optimal well-being and of biohacking. And so many people still feel lonely or feel like they aren't belonging because you can go out to the club, but are you actually connected? Are you actually feeling like you belong and feeling connected? Or are you disassociating and getting lost in the sauce? And only feeling worse about yourself the next day. Another one of my goals is to help people feel better the next day after partying. Because I don't believe you need to feel bad the next day after partying. You don't need to 
experience oh the, the come down and the, the post party blues and oh i'm exhausted and i just killed my body because i partied really hard and i feel like crap the next day and i'm not productive or focused or energized because i don't experience that i party and i feel amazing the next day still because those are my that's what i do that's what we do in the bio rave community that's what we do and so it's like how can we feel better the next day than we did after partying right so this is a whole movement we're going to be doing so many things i'm dropping two offers soon i'm building them right now i'm a low ticket offer and a mid ticket offer with some options to have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well but really ultimately it's about rewiring our whole brain to optimize our well-being to get high off life to build habits that are gonna allow us to tap into our next level potential and then taking that energy whether that means you want to take it out to party, amazing. But in our day-to-day -day life, so we can be that high-performing, next-level human being that we know we need to be. And also partying for well-being and going out because you want to connect and dance and express and reduce your social anxiety, building your confidence, expressing, living your life, being happier, just doing the things that you actually want. And by raving is going to help you do that. That's what we do here, okay? So that's the vibe. If you're here watching this, let me know what you think. Drop a comment. I know two people are watching. I see you. Thanks for staying the whole time. That's just a snippet, and I'm sure as this evolves, we're going to keep evolving it. Things are going to grow. So if you want to join a free community, join us. The link is in my bio, or you can DM me the word club to join. And we're just really building a new way of being, a new way of moving, a new way of partying, a new way of experiencing day-to-day -day life. And getting high off of all these things that we are building and the habits we're creating. Because you get to be high off life every day. And that's literally the mission. We get to be lit for life. Get high off life. Buy a rave till the grave. When I say I'm going to rave time 80, I'm not kidding. Like, <laughs> one of the goals is to rave, figure out and build myself and create these massive amounts of health and vitality. All the way until I'm 80. So I'm going to be at Shambhala when I'm 80 years old. Just, just busting it, still dancing, still moving. <laughs> and then y'all are going to join me because we're going to obviously go to festivals together as well and create amazing camps and movements at the festivals, at these events. Um, I'm going to have retreats in the future and just help others tap into their optimal well-being and how to party in a healthier, health-conscious way. Anyway, that is the movement. That is the vibe. We have so many things happening. It's going to be amazing. So if you're watching this, DM me, let me know your thoughts. Join the free community. We're just getting started. We are just getting started, and I'm so excited to update you along the way. But that's my new focus. That's the new mission, the vision for this movement, and that's what I'm going to be talking about for the rest of my life probably. <laughs> and so thank you all for being here, and you know, I just want to tell you to go after what your soul is telling you to do. Go do the things that light your soul on fire because this is literally one of the one of the best things I've decided to do, um, I finally listening to my calling and doing that. So I encourage you to do the same. Go live a lit up life. Go eat more plants and do more dance. And I will see you all later. Okay, bye.